Okay, so first off, I am using an Ultimate Direction Pack. Um, this is the Fast Pack 20. Uh, what I love about this pack are the shoulder straps. Anything I need right away is here in the front. So my cell phone, Kleenex, sunglasses. I love having this just right in front. Um, does have the Camelback port, so I'll be using my um, two liter Camelback. And then I'm also going to have a side water bottle for electrolytes um, for the way up. So that'll be in the side pocket. I've got one hiking pole. Um, we'll start here in the front. I've just got my charge cord and um, P rag. For those of you who have never heard of this before, I just learned about it for feminine hygiene and I'm so excited about it. It's literally the 99 cent rags that you can get at Walmart and it's a great way for all of us ladies to clean up as we need to go on the trail. So I just started using this last weekend and it was a game changer. So this is my cool new pee rag. All right, let's take a look inside. Okay, first thing is food. Um, this is just one of those reusable, um, like, you know, Ziploc bags, but it's a reusable bag. Um, I'm gonna be carrying a whole box of crackers because um, I've got a lot of tuna in here. I've got three packets of tuna. These are also about a dollar at Walmart. Um, I've got more meat. <laughs> this is the Costco dehydrated meat. Um, thick jerky, more meat. Um, Duke's mini sausages. Um, these are the hot and spicy ones just to switch the flavor up. More meat. I've got a, a, a trail mix with beef jerky in it. So these also come from Costco. These are awesome. Kalamata olives in the little to-go cups. Those are great for some salt. Some applesauce. I've got two of the um, honey singer waffles for a little sweet snack. And also sport beans. I'll be eating these kind of just randomly on the way up for a little boost of energy. So that's all the food I'm carrying. So this is a lot of food. This is way more than I would ever carry on a normal hike. Um, but for 22 miles, I think I'm gonna go pretty much through all of this. And if I don't, that's okay. Um, there's still gonna be plenty left over for when I get back to camp. <laughs> all right, so next up, I've got a few different clothing items in here. I've got my puffy. Um, it's supposed to be about 50 for the high on the peak, but honestly, I'm expecting it to be cooler. So always bring a puffy, always next to nothing. I've also got my beanie. Um, again, in case it's pretty cold up there, especially after sweating all that way up, I think I'm going to use that. Um, I'm bringing a water filter. There's three of us here. And for 22 miles, um, I don't want to carry six, seven liters of water. That's just going to weigh me down. So we're going to stop at least once or twice and filter some water. That'll also give us a chance to take a break, have a snack, and rest up. So this is my one, our, um, four liter platypus that I take on, on normal backpacking trips. Okay, this is the wag bag. So they give you these when you pick up your permit. Um, for liquid waste, they said you can go off about 100 yards off the trail, but solid waste needs to go in here and tossed out when we're done. So got that. I have an extra pair of socks. Um, there's going to be some snow up there and some stream crossings. So if for some reason I get too wet or too sweaty, whatever, I've got an extra pair of darn tough socks. Two little things of sunblock plus my spray sunblock. I prefer the spray sunblock, but it's almost out. So this is my backup. Also, I like this better for my face. Okay, next up, um, these are my noon tablets, the electrolyte tablets. I have one with caffeine, one without caffeine. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. I plan on having a whole water bottle with electrolytes the entire day. So I'll be going through those. This is just my little summit register in case for some reason they're out of paper or whatever. It's also got my little cards. Um, honestly, I'm probably gonna take this out. I won't need it up there. So I'm gonna toss that out.
Uh, lots of Kleenex, more applesauce that I didn't even know I had in there, so that's a good surprise. Um, my inhaler, and I also have a mini pack towel um, for in case we do get wet and we want to kind of like dry off our feet quicker, I have my little pack towel. Um, I've also got a headband, and then I have my um, phone charger as well. It's a Goal Zero charger. And if all goes well, we will be holding this sign up there. So that's everything I'm carrying for 22 miles in a day for Mount Whitney. Um, we'll do a follow-up video and tell you what I ended up not using and what worked out well and what didn't. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for coming.